Good morning, class. And what language is that? English. You know, I'm really liking these because I think you can hear me a lot better with these. So I know it makes me look like a newscaster or something, but hey, whatever works, right? Um, this story today is called Hens Don't Crow. And it is written by A. H. Benjamin and Rebecca Elliott. Hens Don't Crow. And here's the title page. The title is always in big letters so you don't miss the title on the title page. The title page always has the author's name and it's illustrated by Rebecca Elliott. Here's a beautiful picture. I'll show you this and then I will read it and turn this one to you while I read this side. Love the illustrations. Okay, Rooster had a sore throat. Oh no, he croaked. Who will wake up the farm in the morning? I will, clucked Hen. How, said Rooster. Hens don't crow. Leave it to me, said Hen. Hen found Cat sunning herself by the barn doors. Listen, said Hen, Rooster is not feeling well, so I'll be waking up the farm tomorrow morning. What? meowed Cat. Hens don't crow. Never mind that, said Hen. Just go tell the others. Cat ran off to tell Dog. She found him outside of his kennel. You won't believe this, said Cat. Hen is waking us up in the morning. But she's a hen, barked Dog. Hens don't crow. I know, said Cat. You'd better spread the word. Dog scampered away. He found Pig in his sty. Guess what, said Dog. Hen is waking us up in the morning. Impossible, grunted Pig. Hens don't crow. Of course not, said Dog. Go tell the others. Pig trotted off in a hurry. He found Cow under the old tree. Have you heard, cried Pig, Hen is waking us up in the morning. Nonsense, mooed Cow. Everyone knows that hens don't crow. Well, I never heard one, said Pig. I will go tell Horse, said Cow. Horse was the oldest and wisest animal on the farm. Cow found horse in his paddock. Hogwash, he neighed when Cow told him the news. Hens don't crow. Well, that's what everyone is saying, shrugged Cow. I will have a word with that silly hen, said horse. Where is she? But no one could find hen. What are we going to do? Everyone cried. We can't rely on Hen. We'll never get up in the morning. Hen watched the Hola Baloo from her secret hiding place. That's a funny word, isn't it? Hola Baloo? What does Hola Baloo mean? Hola Baloo. That word is like crazy, right? A whole bunch of crazy chaos is going to go on. Hola Baloo. The animals were so worried that they couldn't sleep, so they all found ways to pass the time. Chat case, chat, weird. Cat chased mice in the barn. 
Dog buried all of his favorite bones, and Pig built an enormous mud castle. Cow counted stars in the sky. Horse neighed his favorite tune. Well, that must have been tricky. Dawn came at last. All of the animals gathered in the farmyard. Finally, Hen arrived. Good morning, everyone, she said. Come on, they all said. Let's hear you crow. There's no need, laughed Hen. You're all up. The animals stared at one another. Of course they were. They hadn't gone to sleep. How could they, when they were so worried? You tricked us. We thought you were going to crow. Don't be silly, Hen said. Hens don't crow. And that is the story. So, do you think she was going to really crow? Or do you think... It was really her her purpose to trick them so they'd stay awake, awake all night long. Hmm. Or do you think maybe she was just going to go over and wake them up? She wasn't going to crow at all. She was just going to help uh, wake people up just like normal, saying, hey, time to wake up. Interesting, huh? Interesting. And they all worried about it, and they didn't sleep at all all night long. But I do really love this artwork in here. Look at this beautiful artwork in here. I really, really like that. That's pretty. Okay, hope you enjoyed Hens Don't Crow today. I will see you tomorrow.